Hey everyone. Okay, so this is a little bit about hunger and a little bit about rewiring. Something that I've noticed can be a stumbling block for people, and I also remember it myself a bit, that worries, is this whole thing of, oh, but in order to rewire, it needs to be different. I need to be doing different stuff and changing it up. And I can't just keep eating the same thing. You know, like, say you've introduced something new. <sighs> Dairy, Cadbury, caramel. You haven't had it for ages and you have a bar and you're like, oh my God, this is good. And then you just want it and you want it and you want it. And you're like, I just want every time I go, any I'm just thinking about it all the time and I just want it. And then there's that little niggle of, oh, but for rewiring, I need to be doing different things. I can't just eat. Cadbury caramel because that's not rewiring that I need to I need to do things differently what I want to say is that the the first big chunk when it comes to new rewiring is quantity yes variety is very important but genuinely the foundations that you can then do variety from is quantity so actually rather than starting to go Oh gosh, uh, yeah, I really do really want Cadbury's caramel, but I'll go in and I'll buy some some Mars bars and some Twixes and things, and then I'll have one of those and I'll have one of those. And actually, your brain's just going Cadbury caramel, Cadbury caramel is what you want. The best thing you could possibly do is go and buy absolutely tons of Cadbury caramel and just eat it. Eat it without any restriction. Eat it completely abundantly. Eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it. And you know what will probably happen? Certainly happened to me. You'll be doing that. And suddenly, another thing will come into your head. You think, oh, Twix. Oh, Twix. You're like some thing will just come and you'll think, oh, that sounds good, actually. Yeah, Twix. So you'll go and you'll get Twixes. And you think, oh, God, yeah, Twixes. Yes, Twixes. And what will happen is very organically, and I know I speak about that quite a bit in the last couple of videos, this concept of kind of organic change. And I suppose what I mean by that is you don't have to do anything. Actually, all you've done is honour something that you were craving in abundance. And that has then allowed this neural rewiring process to begin, which is then opening the door for variety. You know, so basically, if you are really, really, really wanting one thing, eat it, eat it abundantly. Obviously, you know, check in with yourself, make sure it's a proper recovery thing. But we're not stupid. We know what's a oh, I'm really wanting this because actually I'm bloody enjoying it and it's so good and I've not had it for a while and you know what, now I'm eating without restriction, I just want it all the time, my brain and my body are like, yes! And then we know what's kind of just a, oh, this is a safe thing, so yeah, we'll just have that, we'll just go to that, oh, we'll just, oh, you're hungry, okay, well, we'll just get that, we'll just get that. We know the difference, like, be real with yourself, you know what the difference is. Check in, honour it. Honour those things abundantly. If you've reintroduced something, if you've gone to a bakery and you've had an ice bun and you haven't had an ice bun in ages and you are suddenly like the ice bun queen and you're like, bloody hell, I literally want ice buns every second of every day. Go and eat them. Don't, don't get caught up in the restrictive trap where your eating disorder is actually using recovery against you of going, oh, that's not neural rewiring. We need different things. It's just a stalling mechanism. It's just restriction. Allow yourself to eat those things in abundance and the variety will come. Now, I know this from my own personal experience because in recovery, I went through so many phases of things and some of them were quite general, like biscuits. It was quite a general phase. And some of them were very specific. Like, I definitely went through a phase of mini chocolate Weetabix. And honestly, I could not get enough of those things. Like, I ate it by the boxful, easily. Like, boxes and boxes. I remember because we went on a family holiday and I literally took a massive bag full of them with me and went to the shop and bought more within, like, a couple of days. Like, literally, I was obsessed with these things. Now, there was a little part of me when these kind of things happen where I thought, oh gosh, is this good? Or am I just becoming obsessed with one food? Am I, am I not neurally rewiring because actually all I'm doing is eat? No. The key with recovery, the very foundation of neural rewiring and nutritional rehabilitation is unrestricted eating and eating in abundance. And that in that moment, following my hunger, meant 
a lot of Weetabix mini chocolates or Weetabix chocolate minis. I don't know what order it is, but you know the ones. So yeah, other things, gingerbread men. <laughs> I literally went through a phase like of gingerbread men. Yeah, couldn't get enough of those things. Other things, baguette, fresh baguette. That was another phase, big phase. Pizza, that was a, that was, that was a intense and long phase. But basically what I'm trying to say to you is it's completely normal and okay that when you reintroduce things, when you challenge things, that you suddenly go, oh my gosh, I want that. I want it so much and I just want to eat it over and over and over. And you're like, you know, you might, you wake up for breakfast and you're like, well, actually all I want is pizza. Oh, but that's not a breakfast. But push it. Stick a pizza in. Eat the pizza. Genuinely. As I say, the overall message of this is that rewiring starts with abundance and quantity. You eat lots and variety will come from that. You know, it's entirely possible to be messing around, neurally rewiring, when actually you're not doing any positive steps in recovery because you're not eating enough food. Volume and abundance is the first bit. Variety and all that kind of stuff kind of comes as a natural process after that, you know? So yeah, anyway, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, yeah, speak to you soon.